studyinfo.fee website. Um, study info is where you get all the information about studying in Finland. So if you wish to study in Finland, if you wish to move to Finland as an international student, then you have to get familiar with studyinfo.fee. I've been talking about study info, but I haven't really um, had time to focus more on it. So this video, um, in this video, I'll focus more on study info. If you're searching for programs, if you are looking forward, like um, you, you are looking forward to um, applying in upcoming applications or separate admissions, whatever, it's here. Why is this important? It's important because, for example, if I want to apply um, for a program and I know of this program in one university, let's say University of Applied, I mean University of Helsinki, and then I just go straight to the university's website, then I have just that option. But when I come to study info and I, for example, I want to study for, I want to, I'm looking for um, a program in education. And once I, I search education as a keyword, then I will see um, programs in education, in education in other universities. So this is very important, all right? Um, and I'm gonna run us through um, this um, study um, info website. And the first thing you need to do is to change the, the um, language from year. So if, for example, it, this was in Finnish, you can come here and click, and then you see in English, in Finnish, and in, um, in, in Swedish, so uh, which is very important. Okay, I want to study nursing. So I'm gonna click and then I search. All right, so you can see um, Bachelor of Healthcare, in Santa Cunta University of Applied Science. There's another one in two different education uh, by two education providers. Um, there's masters in Metropolia. There is um, another one in Vasa, in connection with Abu Academy. So you find all the nursing programs here. Okay. So for example, I really want to know more about the period of application, like the application period, the fees, and every other thing. So I'm going to click here. And now it's take, like it takes me to this page where um, I can see everything. The fees, tuition fee is 9500 This It's daytime tuition, and it's in four And now I want to know when the application opens. All right, so now I'm gonna click here to know more about this program. If it, there's a scholarship or um, the application period, like so many information, if it's in English. So when you click there, you come to this amazing uh, page where it gives you all the information. So for example, this the language of instruction in this program is English. Um, it is contact teaching and also daytime teaching. And um, the planned duration is three years, six months. And there is no scholarship. So this, so for example, if I look at this piece, 9,500 is too much for me. I can't afford it and there's no scholarship. What do I do? Do I still stay on this page? No, I don't stay on this page. I will go back. I will go back to the previous page and then I'll take a look at another program, all right? So that's how you search. You don't just see and you apply. You have to check the fees. You have to check um, the requirements and everything. So um, still in that light, if we check Lapland, there's a bachelor program in Lapland, um, University of Applied. And yeah, you can search. I can also still click like the same. And I'll have all the information here as well. It's an English taught program. Um, the fees is 8,000 euros. Now, there's a scholarship here. They say the scholarship is between 2,000 to 500, 2,000 to 4,000 euros. So, which means there's a possibility that um, I'll have 50% scholarship. So, I'll be able to pay 4,000 euros. Okay, this is a, a good fees. It makes sense. But now, I want to know more about the scholarship. Then, I'm going to click here. 
And yeah, they will tell you to go to this tuition fee at Labna. So when you click here, it will take you to another page for you to like know more about the fees, to know more about the scholarship. And now, if this is okay, it's in English, I want to know when to apply. So when I scroll down, first they have a separate and direct application period. So you have the direct application period. We are late already. I can't apply because it's passed. Okay. So am I going to do it? Yet? No, I can't apply to this program. I go back. So you just have to spend time on the on the on the on this um website and get to know it more better. So so far I've checked two programs in nursing and the fees is okay, but it's not open for application yet. Um the fees is not okay, so I don't really care if it's open for application yet or not. So now I want to study, for example, business. Let's check business first. Sorry. So now I'm searching for a business, for a program in business. Now I have these programs. And this is a master's program. And the other thing is, instead of you to start coming like bachelor or master's, is like, for example, if you if you if you are you are eligible to apply for both bachelor and master's, I will advise you to just be checking. But if you you are like you just want a bachelor, then you can come here. All right. Do you want it in a university of applied science? Yes, for bachelor approved. So you click. University of Applied Science, which means that when you click University of Applied Science, it will show you pro um, program like business programs in universities, University of Applied Science, that's bachelor's and master's. But if I want just University of Applied Science bachelor's degree, I'm going to remove master's. All right? I don't want to see anything that has to do with master's because I'm not interested. And also, I don't want universities, so I'm not going to put it, but the language of, of instruction should be in English. So I click English. And then if you want the area, you can also choose if you want to study Tampere region, um, Helsinki, Usima region, you can choose that. But since you're coming from outside, you don't like the region doesn't really matter that much. So um, now I want to check for ongoing. I am looking for ongoing application. So I will click this application ongoing, okay? Or I want joint application, you click, or I want rolling application, I will click rolling admission upper, like that's higher education. And I also click separate because I want to see if they have like, I want to apply right away, I don't want to wait. So now, This is my search results. There is a program in five institutions, like a business program. There are others here. So we have so many programs. Now, I want to check these programs individually. So let's take Bachelor of Hospitality Management. Let's see the universities that are offering this program. So here we have a program from Hagahele, and you can see it's showing here that application ongoing, which means that it's open, all right? And you have another program in Laria, University of Appalachia, which states that it's open for application right now. So you can obviously apply. So I want to know more about this program. It's an English taught program. The fees is 8,000 euros. Three years, six months duration, and they have just 15% scholarship. All right, so that's another thing. But I want to also look at the eligibility. So now I'm going to read the admission criteria. So, simply application for applicants who have previously completed 160 ECT. S credits in higher education, bachelor's degree program in hospitality management and service design, spring application. So have you done this? No. So this is not something I can apply for. 
So this is how you search. So it keeps going like you don't need to stay on it and just be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's very important. So that one is not I'm gonna check Hagahelia to see the fees is 9,500 and they have scholarship that for between zero to 1,900 euros. So the application, they have upcoming application separate. So between March 28 to April 11. So that's an upcoming application. So I already know that. They have the pathway studies. I am not interested in pathway. That means I don't want to go through a donation and other um, agents. So now they have oh rolling admission, which is ongoing. All right. And I want to apply, but I need to check first the admission criteria. I will come here and I just go down straight because this is where those for foreigners they are always like below. So here I can see that a foreign qualification that provides eligibility for higher education studies in the country in question. So, okay, I can apply for this program. I'm eligible, all right? So I'll come back and check. They have like, they're looking for five students. Mm, that's competitive. So now I know. And before you even check, before you come here, you need to check the number of places, but that shouldn't discourage you. And now I want to know the admission process. Like what that, what, what, what is the, um, what evaluation method are they using? Oh, now they say if you do not have SAT score, all of this, you should apply through the entrance examination with joint application system. So, which means you write an entrance exam, even though it's separate application. So, these are some of the key things when you are on study info. It's it's amazing. You can sit there. You just when you have time, you just just browse through and use. Especially when you use a laptop, it's easier than your phone. You know, so you can if if you are like okay, business is not working, you can check education. So it's like you just keep going until you meet the right one. So that's how you search for these uh, programs. So if you see it, they are like limit search results. So which means you don't have to go through um maybe twenty or more. So but when you limit it, yeah, this is very important. Then for those of you who want to just invest in non-university of applied science, you can when you come here, you search, you click university, all right, and you remove this. So they will show you programs in universities. So this is how you search and also apply for programs in um in Finland. <laughs> okay, I am a little bit like under the weather. I'm not too I'm not feeling too well. So I I just say let me do this because I think it's very important. I really hope that um this is helpful to you that you're gonna take out time to check all right study info and search for programs. Okay, so see you next week and please remember to like this video, share, comment below. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, see you next week. God bless you. Bye.